Hello antique fans and welcome to my antique channel. This is Deanna speaking from Vintage Touch Antiques. I'm going to be changing out some displays in my antique booth and so I have pulled out here ready to deliver on January the 5th 2017 my wash day pieces that I will be putting into my new wash day display that you will see in my antique booth. I have a few other pieces that I will be showing you here at the end that will also be putting I'll be putting into my booth but not part of this display. Okay, I have a lot of things here to go through and I hope to go through them kind of quickly here for you. The first one is a washboard. You can't have a wash day display without a washboard. This one I'm showing it uh, with the back view there because you can see the beautiful print there on the top that's old Kentucky home washboard and that one has a brass scrub surface if I can turn it around here for you the, the print is faded on the front which often happens because that's the side that got the most water and that piece is going in for eighteen dollars I have on sitting on the floor here a nice early wood bucket. This one has its original green paint as you can see. Nice size, large primitive piece. This one is going in for $69. Then I have a couple of galvanized kind of wash tubs. Uh, this one here is a 14 inch diameter. It does have the bail handle here and that one is priced at $16 and then this one I have sitting up is also if I can get the tag turned around here it's a 14 inch diameter that one is going in for $15 pull back here so you can see that a little better okay now I'll move to the table here starting here on this side I've got two long early primitive laundry sticks. This would be used to stir the bats of water and these are just wonderful with their um, character wear and also their patina where the hands held them and uh, they're both priced at twelve dollars a piece. I also like to put in just early cleaning brushes into my wash day display. Not that it's used for clothes but it's also cleaning related and this one is an angled brush, kind of an unusual piece here with a wood handle. Don't know for sure what it would have been used for but that one's priced at five dollars and then another whisk broom priced at seven dollars. I have a no number of early flat irons. Some people call them sad irons. And this first one is really unusual. It's very heavy um, it's red and black. It has the name here and the name is I don't know if it's going to pick that up for you because of the glare but the name is The Rhymers and that one's priced at ten dollars. I have a, a flat iron trivet here that has let me see, I'm going to check my tag here It's, a, it's called I Want You Comfort Iron, Strauss Gas Iron Company, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And that one, because of the advertising, is priced at $15. Sweet little blue with its original blue paint. That's nice country collar there. Um, those smaller irons were often used for sleeves and baby clothes and things like that. And that one is uh, priced at ten dollars and then I have one that's painted gold back here with the with the large um, open handle there which makes it nice and that one is priced at ten dollars as well. I'll get this bucket out of the way so I don't just crash into it. Okay now this is a fluter and I did show this in one of my other videos uh, this a fluter is a grooved piece and the bottom would have been heated 
and it was used to put, you know, the, um, what am I, I've lost my train of thought. Um, it's used to put the crinkles or the, the pleats, I guess, into collars and stuff like that. And this one is dated on the bottom, 1866, and it's priced at $37. Behind that, I've got some clothespins. These are the early clothespins. This is a rather long one. Th this type here, they're not your shorter type that you may still be able to find as easily. And the whole little can of pins there, 10 in all, are priced at 7 And then I have little bundles of, of um, clothespins, the push-on type, priced at $3.50 each. These are nice that they have the little wire rings around them, but they're all in that little basket down there. Move some stuff as I do this. Okay, I've got a couple of Clorox bottles. These are amber glass bottles with cork receiving tops. I can imagine the day whenever they were, uh, Clorox was purchased this way, but you can see, I hope, the embossed lettering there around the top of that bottle. Nice old bottles to add to your displays. And then I have a number of advertising, laundry advertising pieces. And a lot of people use these in their laundry room. They'll put up a little display of um, early wash day pieces. And I, in fact, have one small shelf in my laundry room. I don't have a very large laundry space, so it's just a small shelf, but I will include a picture of that at the end of this video if you hang on, and you can see where I've, even with the very small space, was able to, you know, design a place where I could have a few things on display. And among these are Oakite, which is um, a, a detergent, and that one is priced at 12 and this is quick elastic starch, priced at 15. This is Clinton quick laundry starch, priced at 10. Then I have some soaps here. I have an early Swan bar soap, seven. I have a P and G soap, priced at six, and a Fells naphtha soap, priced at 7.50. Here's a granite soap dish that I'm including in this display, priced at $6. I have a little advertising piece. This does have the um, whole in, inside interiors, priced at $5. Tint X, tints and dyes. It has the stuff inside. This is a, a laundry detergent or washing soda, I guess. and. Um, this is an Arm & Hammer washing soda, and I, that box does have the product. All of these have the products, in fact. They're not just empty boxes, but that one is 13. And then this Noctil Softens Water. It's not quite as old, but priced at $9. So I hope you were able to see all that. And be sure and check my online store. I do sell a number of wash day advertising and pieces like this in my, my um, online store. Now a laundry display would not be complete without laundry, so I do have some early pieces here like little camisoles and a little slip there and just some early pieces like that. They're just cotton pieces and I have them priced at two dollars a piece. They're nothing fancy but they look cute in the laundry display i got to go to the back here. Like I said, I like to add some brushes and things to these displays. And this one is a bottle brush with a green wood handle. And it's priced at $5. Then this is like a counter brush. or And it's a horsehair brush. And it's also got a green wood and that one is priced at nine dollars. Here's a soap saver. This one is priced at ten dollars. It's got the twisted wire and it opens up there and you would put your bits of soap in the soap saver and 
swish them around in one of those wash tubs to get soap and not waste a speck of your precious soap that you had to make during those days. And then I like to add a basin. This is a granite ware with a 12 inch one with red trim there and it's priced at eight dollars. These are good to hang. They're great to use for um, soaking or something like that to pull them down and, and fill them and have them there handy in your laundry room. So that's a usable piece as well as collectible. And then I've got here this little ironing board that will be part of the display. This one is a great piece to use for sleeves and small items. And that one is priced, I can't get the tag out there, but it's priced at $25. It's got the wood base. Let's see if I can come back here a little way. Maybe you can see that just a little bit better that way. And then I like to always add one of these clothes sprinklers. Um, it's hard to believe, but there was the day when we had to dampen the clothes before the time of steam irons. And you would put your water in a in a bottle. And this is um, a new grape soda bottle. And those were often used in the kind that have the hourglass type of design so that they're easy to hold, make them really nice for sprinkling. And this does work as well. And this piece is priced at $9 with the sprinkler cap there on the top. Okay, moving back around. I have hanging here a nice cotton laundry bag that is nice and long and this laundry bag is priced at eight dollars. I have a nice primitive wood laundry laundry um, rope I guess, twine rope with on its winder there and that whole thing with that wonderful wine, uh, twine, excuse me, is $18. Then I have a couple of smaller washboards. This is an ideal. It has the nice little bonnet cap there on the top, galvanized scrub surface, and that smaller washboard is priced at $25. That one is a little more expensive because of that uh, little bonnet cap that it has. This one is a Crest G's. I don't think I've ever had a Crest G's. And this one is priced at $15. And then in addition to those laundry day pieces, I will be delivering these early pottery pieces. Um, this type of thing is a beautiful, they're beautiful with your, your primitives, they're early, most of them 19th century. Um, this is like a spongeware cream pitcher, as you can see, and it's a yellowware piece with the beautiful light blue, I guess, in it. That one is priced at $13. I have a nice decorated salt crock back here. It does have a crack and some damage. It's hard to get these pieces without any damage. So keep that in mind. And if you're using them for display, you can many times situate them on a shelf where you don't even see the damage. And this one is priced at $12 because of the damage. Now this is also considered to be yellowware, even though it's more white. Um, a lot of the white, a lot of the uh, clay that these pieces were made of were different colors and some of them were lighter than others. This is a wonderful little very um, very bright yellow and green pottery piece. I'm not sure what it would have been used for. It's just a little bowl with a lid and that one is priced at $13. And then I have a yellowware butter crock with the lid. It does have its damage. And again, if you um, position it on a shelf where you don't see the damage, it makes for a wonderful display. And these are harder and harder to get a hold of that have the name of the item on them. 
and there's the lid and you can see it is a very early piece that one is priced because of the damage at only eighteen dollars I um, I use a lot of pieces that have flaws in my decorating and in my displays in my home you can get them for a lot less money that way and also it helps to rescue them and I appreciate them because they are from the past and they need to be appreciated and preserved so I thank you for watching this video and I would like to direct your attention to the description where you will find links to my online store my web page and where you can find me on the web you'll find a link in like I said the online store does have some laundry products some of these products I um, I've had them in the store and I will be moving them to my antique booth so whenever if they don't sell they go back in the store and then also I'd like to invite you to visit me in my antique booth where my antique booth is in Antique Crossroads Hagerstown Maryland you'll find my booth on the left side of that mall third row just look for the large vintage touch sign that hangs in the back of my booth and then finally before I close let me invite you to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified of the next video and I hope that you will enjoy watching my channel because I have a wide variety of playlists that are antique related and finally before I close let me encourage you in your collecting to enjoy what you have enjoy your collecting and learn about your antiques and help preserve them for the future history and um, have a wonderful day thank you for watching and remember when you own an antique you want a piece of history.